Hey y'all. So how y'all like this view better? <laughs> this was me more about the food and less of me, okay? But y'all, I've had a long week. I just thank the Lord for everything he's done to get us through this week. Um, it was new beginnings for the boys uh, going in person working for me and just getting a lot of stuff done around the house and you know still trying to find time to keep everything up and for myself still didn't make it to the nail shop but don't even trip because i got an appointment in the morning but happy friday y'all your girl got in the kitchen made some crispy fried chicken wings ain't nothing like some homemade fried chicken wings with the flour and all the good seasonings you know how we do it y'all back in indiana i don't know how they do it out here i have had no good fried chicken yet Everything I had is major chains where, fast food chains where it's pretty much the same across the board. I don't think Texans fry their chicken any different. It might be Cajun or something. They love the spice here. I made some homemade jambalaya. So, y'all, these sausages, I grilled them. Y'all, this is Texas smoked sausage. It got jalapeno, jalapeno peppers and cheddar cheese in it. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Delicious. You don't even got season the rice because them peppers got enough seasoned salt for the whole meal. Got me some fresh pineapples over here to nibble on. And y'all know I got my cucumbers inside my favorite Italian dressing, Olive Garden. And I got a fresh uh, jalapeno pepper there for some more crunch. And we gonna go ahead and get it in. Oh, y'all know I made me a mocktail. Yes, ma'am. This is a mango zero sugar minute may y'all i take some off the block i keep some the lemon one lemonade one the fruit punch and the mango passion something keeps them in the refrigerator got me some sweet and sour sauce and y'all i just been wanting the kick of spice lately. like it don't even taste good if it don't have no spice and i didn't really build my tower so that's the hot buffalo wing sauce we about to pour us some sauce and go ahead and get to talking y'all the funniest thing just happened though y'all i don't even i didn't even laugh it wasn't really funny to me i'm gonna tell you y'all gonna laugh though so my uh neighbor happens to be a professional um um celebrity barber traveling barber and so he's not home that often but he introduced himself when we first moved in and told me let him know if he didn't cut the kids hair Long story short, I told the kids this morning, I was like, y'all, it's Friday, you know, if we was back at home, y'all would be getting y'all haircuts and knock on his door and tell him to give me a call or whatever. Because I just, I guess I didn't save his number right because it's, it's not the right number or maybe he's going through some financial difficulties. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, he knocked on the door or whatever. He was like, uh, do you got Wi-Fi? Can I please borrow your Wi-Fi? I said, yes. I said, I'll tell the boys to come and knock on your door and tell you that they want, they need their hair. Cause where he was like, send them on over. He cut their hair immediately. I laid their hair out. Do you hear me? They cuss is nice. You hear me? Nice, nice. I always end up finding a good barber and I thank God for that. I really do. Good, nice hosting them in his apartment y'all is laid you would think a woman lived there it is laid very particular young man african-american and so let me eat a little did i gonna get into the story y'all because i gotta tell y'all what my son did y'all they get on my nerves always doing too much I honestly think they want me to be in a relationship so they can have somebody have fun with it. And take them out to do all the stuff I don't do. I don't know what it is. But Eric had the nerve. To try to do some matchmaking. He been making here all excited. Mama, mama. He love that food. He keep on talking about y'all said. Eric, don't get that man's feelings hurt. He's like, well, he wanted to know if my dad. I said, 
to him, not your dad, but your sister's dad. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Anybody's dad. You never, listen, I never want anybody to think I don't have nobody because I don't want anybody to think they can come over and take advantage or nothing. You know, a single woman living, I don't, like, nobody knowing my business. I don't even like people knowing where I live at. He just happened to be my next door neighbor. And that, my friend, is too close for comfort. Y'all, Eric looks so sad, like, I said, what have you been over there saying? What did you tell the man? Nothing. He just wanted to know, you know, did you have a man? And is my dad going to be here? I said, Eric, how many times somebody at your barbershop or somebody in another child talks to me? Don't get that man feelings hurt. Um, he laughed at all. Well, I'm about to say this <clears throat> Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like them trying to play matchmaking services. I'm be honest, his house was so neat and clean. And so well decorated. Y'all, it was laid up. It might just be because of where you're from, which I'm not gonna say that. Let's try to protect his identity. But they got the best of hospitality and they they do it up. You hear me? But the man's house is laid, y'all. To be a man, a young black man. Smelling good. Everything's spotless. So <clears throat> Eric was like, Mama, his girlfriend, she mean. She dirty, Mama. She dirty, Mama. I said, Eric, quit gossiping. Why are you listening to Grandpa's conversation? <clears throat> he said, she told me, so Eric must have told him we could hear them arguing a couple days ago. A week ago. Who are She broke up with him on his birthday. On a woman's birthday a few days ago, mom, and I thought in my head because my cousin had left out early to get on the roller. And about an hour or so after he left, I just hear like commotion, y'all, middle of the night, like. I thought somebody was going to die. So I'm like. Excuse me. It's so fierce. So, so I never said anything. And. I heard women. It was like women. Couldn't hold that liquor but. They was going off, off. So, in Black Dallas, in another group online, they be telling their stories about their men and their relationships. So, I was waiting to hear about that one. But, y'all, all I can say is I'm probably not his type. Because that toxic thing he got, the stuff that came out of her mouth, y'all, I don't know what he did, y'all. He definitely ain't friendly. Like I told y'all, I almost thought he didn't even, you know, by the looks of things, he was very focused into his career. He had a beautiful place. I didn't even know if he was interested in women. It didn't matter to me because he addressed me on a professional level, business, barbering, okay? But I just could not believe what I was hearing, y'all. It was going down. Like, if y'all from Indiana, Hallville style. <clears throat> Excuse me. I shouldn't even say Hallville. I'm the west side. I'm talking about like Brightwood, east side. 46218. You hear me? I was like, wow. I could not. I was trying to understand, but I guess it wasn't meant for me to understand the words. I just heard all kinds of stuff. I just knew they was gonna start shooting. Like, 
I remember my heart racing because it woke me up on my sleep. Cause see, our door, everything is online. And I mean, these walls is paper thin. So when the doors is slamming, uh, and I was like, I know it's to wake you out of your sleep. Uh, you already, uh, you already think the worst has happened. You don't think for a second. That people are still alive. Anywho, y'all. <laughs> the ghetto. But I was thinking I was right. I ain't in sight. Because if you think. If you think we about to be going at it like that. Yeah, okay. And y'all. He seems so. Malmanner. And laid back. Very cool. So I'm thinking. She's the aggressor. Like, I didn't hear him say anything to her. Even when they was going off that day. You know, he a man. I got a deep boy. He never say anything. I can just hear women. Mm. Maybe she caught one another man. I mean, another woman. I'm sorry. Too much going on right here, y'all. Whatever it is y'all want to do with y'all life, just do it. That's how I'm saying. But anyhow, y'all, he just hooked the boys up. I ain't had to pay nothing. I gave him some dinner. I'm so excited. God is so good. It just, it was right on time today. Everything, every phone call I got, thank you, Jesus. Every phone call I got was right on time. I'm so grateful. And I mean, they fresh, fresh, y'all. Fresh, fresh. He's a master barber, y'all. And where he from, barber is real big. He do design and everything. I told him don't worry about that because I don't really like it when he grow back, but really. We ain't gotta worry about that because he just right across, you know, right next door. So I might let them start getting uh the designs and stuff. But anyways, y'all. I don't like having to talk to my neighbors. Ain't that crazy? I, I'm a wonderful person, but I'm not a good neighbor. I mind my business. <laughs> I don't know why. I was always like that. I started out very young, living by myself. I always pay more to live, so I don't have to worry about you know, extra stuff. Because I'm coming in late at night or I'm slinging pies. People think I'm slinging something else. I'm pies and fried chicken. I never have to worry about any of that. But... I'm going to start baking cakes and giving them to new neighbors and stuff. <laughs> I didn't quit playing so much. And people do not have to be nice, y'all. And every call, knock on the door I got today, really blessed us. I really did. And I'm always so grateful. I've been doing this thing for a long time. I don't think I've ever felt so loved by a community, you know. And I mean, honey, they ready to order stuff from whatever it is. Like, y'all don't understand. I can't tell y'all everything, though, because I got some stuff coming up. Y'all gonna see the support. That's the way I'm looking for the support. It's outstanding. Coming from a city where like everybody have a crabs and bread mentality, it's different. 
most of you had to grow up in that. But you always support everybody. Me. I always support everybody. It is what it is. You ain't gonna be able to get to everybody. They might not have anything you're interested in. Him. But that's like comment, sharing, whatever. Sending other people their way. I do that. Y'all, this rice, which I know I can't eat rice like that. It is so good. The flavors is outstanding. So let me tell y'all what I did. <laughs> I bought those sausages. I sliced them. Fried them in the skillet. Or a pot, really. So I could be able to put the rice in there. I drained them. Pour, uh, put my water in. Per what the box said. The Zatarins. Jambalaya. Rice mix or something. I did three boxes. Y'all, I normally put sausage and shrimp in there, but that keeps my oldest from being able to eat it, so I had to make sure I didn't put no shrimp in there. But this meal is so good, y'all. I don't fry that often, but when I do, I yeah, take my time. It's a hit. Y'all, I was able to come home this evening, do a deep clean throughout the apartment. Thank you, Jesus. I love Miss Myers, y'all. All purpose cleaner, I pretty much use that on everything. The glass cleaner, all the glass. Uh, um, It just smells so good. Her, the fragrance in the cleanser is also like aromatherapy type of thing. <laughs> and I love lemon anything. Lemon or lime and coconut. Her got another cleanser is all natural too. And it's like lime and coconut. Oh man, it smells so good. I wipe the countertops down with it, my appliances, all of that. It just smells so good. Um, um, y'all, I really, I'm trying to look for somebody who can, uh, finally get my TVs on. Y'all, I'm sorry. If I see it, I gotta grab it. I'm really not traditionally this picky, but I just really, I'm not that chicken person, you know? My daughter just clean these bones like none other. Y'all hear me? Y'all see, I'm over here picking through stuff. I normally don't eat the drums. I'm a flat tail. But there are people that eat all this. The gristles, all that. They like, girl, that's food. Who's knocking? Dawson, go watch the movie. I love the crispy side of the flat like that. Mm. Why you gotta come and get you some of this? What you knocking on?
y'all I have really beefed up my tolerance because this ain't even hot to me the hot buffalo oh, this is a new it's like a good spice but it ain't even tearing me up I was gonna do this with hot this is bad Please be careful. Y'all. I'm, I'm going to get some good sleep tonight. I'm going to get some good sleep tonight. That's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to get more protein down before I get to these pineapples, y'all. I'm trying to do the right thing. The veins. <laughs> I know. Somebody about to pull my black car right now. Now, I do like the wings, y'all. But there's people that eat all of this. I ain't chewing on my bottom. If y'all don't see how I done dissected this chicken, y'all be mad at me. I feel so good though, y'all. I'm talking about my feelings, my emotions, my current state of mind. I'm in the green, y'all. Honey, I am one little worrying bee. Can you get him a, um, a paper plate so he can eat this? Give me a paper plate for him. You want some cucumbers, Dawson? You want some cucumbers? Y'all say? Yes. Y'all, feed them baby some vegetable. Wow. Couple times a day, a raw fruit. Cause once we cook food, y'all, this is the way African Americans cook. The nutrients is gone, y'all. The nutrients is gone. But y'all, so I told started this morning. My cousin told me to talk about this on my video and I almost forgot. So I started off this morning. Excuse me. Pretty motivated. Had to go interview for a job that I had no experience in. I'm gonna tell y'all to be, I'm about to be all the way honest with y'all. <laughs> so, two years ago when I, um, y'all this is my breast cancer awareness shirt. Right? But um y'all oh I applied for this job over two years ago when I first was planning on coming here. I just applied to hundreds of jobs. I was working at the school. And while I be sitting there with all them kids, I was like a behaviorist and I was working in the ISS room. Like, I just had a lot of free time because I was always sitting there with 60 bad kids at a middle school. Anywho, I, um, they kept texting me saying they got available position, available position, calls, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, all right, let me call them. I'm be honest, y'all. I had my cousin update this resume years ago. Okay, years. 
I had not had, I'm an entrepreneur. I had not had no hot rents. I'm going to be honest. Like, I just always, I like to go out and make money. I don't mind working. So I apply for anything. I mean, as long as I ain't cleaning toilets, y'all already know that. So it don't matter. But I have to make it worthwhile because I got to be able to cover child care and gas and bills and all that. Like, I just, it can't be just any job. So I'm not a mediocre person. And so I will apply for stuff that I ain't never done because I'm a good learner and I bet you I'm going to excel at it. It ain't nothing I ain't never did that I didn't get through and they didn't love me. So, long story short. I probably was on some fake it till you make it stuff, but I didn't even think about it, y'all. I just was like, when she said, can you come in tomorrow at 9 o'clock? I'm like, yeah, girl, I'll be there. Then research the position. Didn't look up nothing. No, I mean, I went in there busy. On my phone, was like, because of what? I'm a boss. I'm a business owner. So, in my mind, my mind was just not there, y'all. I don't know how to explain it. But if you own your own business, you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm sitting there at her table. She asking me questions. I got questions for her, too. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, what do you need? Like, fully confident, right? So she gets to asking me questions about this particular position, like the dynamics around it. Like, what is the job role responsibility? Honey, when I tell you, she was like, so what exactly did you do in property management? <laughs> Y'all, you know what I wanted to say. Girl, I manage properties. What do you mean? Girl, I'm a manager. I'm a boss. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> she said what systems did y'all use and i said yardy and something else and something else or whatever right y'all it didn't hit me until she started asking me questions girl you didn't even do your research i know you want this but sister, you, you gotta know what you're talking about <sighs> y'all then my shoes was too big. I didn't lost so much weight. My shoes literally is flopping off of my feet <sighs> as I walk. I said, I know she probably like, you don't get your big clown shoe wearing. No experience having self out of my office. <laughs> but baby, what I said, I, I held, I, girl, listen. I sat in that chair on that throne. But let me tell y'all this though. So I walked in her office, I was sitting up front. Nobody was prepared for me, clearly. The person who scheduled me for the interview didn't even tell them I was coming. That was the dumb part about it. So the supervisor, the guy that's running the office is sitting in his room. Like this is a movie, y'all. I could not make this up, I'm serious. He's on the phone trying to get his Hispanic maid into his, his house where his son is knocked out sleep and they actually locked the service door to the garage. And I'm like, and I mean, he's like, go to the door and knock on the door. I mean, she knows no English. First of all, you cannot be mad at her for not knowing no English. Why are you working her to death and she don't know no English? Why you didn't go out here and get some English speaking woman to work at your house? Cause you want to pay them a little bit and you want them to have a green card so you can trust them. I know how y'all rich people do. I know, I know. Long story short, he's like, uh, go to the door, knock on the, and I mean, he's just so frustrated. And it didn't dawn on me that he's really frustrated and upset because she has a, there's a language barrier, barrier. So she's literally doing all the, and you sitting over here just going, I mean, making all these gestures like she the dumbest person ever, but she's smart enough to clean your house. When I tell you maids, I was, when I was cleaning my house today, I'm telling you, when you clean after somebody, when you're their maid or you cook for them or something, you get to know this person a lot. There's a lot to say about a person. You could tell if they're selfish, if they have integrity, uh, how their brain is registered, everything. All I'm saying is my kids cannot live with me past 18. I'm done at 18. <laughs> That's the integrity I'm talking about. No, I'm just playing. So, sis calls me into her office. The chair is full of fingerprints, grease, and nasty ranch dressing and barbecue sauce. The table is full of it. Like, she had her son at work with her yet the day before. So, that would have been yesterday. And I'm sitting up here like, and you want me to sit where? I'll stand. 
So I looked over at another chair, but it's back behind her computer. It had a few little greasy fingerprints. See, I know what it is because I got four kids. I know what happened at this table, okay? And I'm like, right in the middle of Corona, you want me to just sit down in your son's mess. Like, ah, no ma'am. No ma'am, nanny. So, I, I, um, I, uh, sit down. And we got to talking, but I couldn't even see her. I mean, she's kept on peeking around like, why'd you sit over there? Because you trifling. Why you didn't clean this up before I got in here? Then you gonna go on and tell me, well, you can definitely do leasing or whatever. I seen you have experience in leasing. And... All right, that's fine. What's the pay? She says $12 an hour. I haven't made $12 an hour since, what, high school? <laughs> what are the hours? I mean, do I get to work 80 hours a day? Like, how are we going to make up? $12 an hour? I spent that driving out here. Anyways, y'all. I was grateful for whatever. Honestly, I was just excited to get out of the house and meet new people. Honestly. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I wasn't worried about nothing. That's probably why I didn't even think about it. The position. Or ask any questions. You know. Call grandma. Yeah. So, y'all, she was. So eager to tell me a little twelve dollars an hour job, and I got to sit in her son's barbecue sauce. I don't know what they was doing that office before I got there. It was early in the morning. They probably getting they love. You know what, owner something. You know how these boss men are. I sleep with the employees all the time. And he don't got no respect for Hispanics. No. They bought another barrel to him. I went in that office 20 minutes, y'all. 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 Every pineapple I done bought here is in your mouth. Sweet like candy. Every one. I can't quit eating no more. Yep. And they're so cheap here. And they're not all big and weird looking, y'all. They're smaller, but it's perfect. Oh, it's so good. Paper towel, please. Me and my kids tear these mugs up. Those are just like candy. And the one toward the bottom. I cut these a little thicker than what I normally like. I meant to cut these again. Be careful. Uh, they'll irritate the corners of your mouth, y'all. And you eating them as much as I am. So that's why y'all see me breaking up the parties. It's so sweet, y'all. It's so sticky and sweet, y'all. Yep, and this is just something they don't run out of in Texas. Pineapple. Peppers, all kind of pepper. Um,
Um. Anywho, y'all. Yeah, this morning we got a good laugh out of that. Lord. Since we've been here, y'all, I'm probably eating like two or three pineapples a week. I throw a slice of pineapple in any meal. Top of the morning, bottom of the night, middle of the night. Ooh, that mango, baby. Ah. Man, the flavors. I just love like mango, pineapple, orange, citrus. Like, y'all get my drift. Y'all get my drift. Y'all watch me enough to know what I like. <sighs> but anywho, y'all, it's Friday. Turn the music up. Enjoy your family. Uh, be grateful for life itself. You made it another week, y'all. These weeks are flying by. We've been here for over a month now. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. But do I feel like I've been here all my life? Yes, nothing feels out the ordinary. It's so crazy. That's how complacent I am. That's how comfortable. Thank you, Jesus. That's how comfortable I am. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't stop eating them, y'all. That's the one off my cup. Those be the best. The ones I put down in my drink. Because they suck up all them flavors. And remember, it's, it's sugar-free, y'all. Now look, the fruit got sugar in it, okay? But it's natural. Judge your mama. The juice is zero. But yep. I just had to share that with y'all. We about to get up out of here. Probably play some games and watch some movies tonight. I don't know. I'm in a really good mood. I'm probably just sleepy. I know that sounds crazy, but I tend to want to do the most when I'm sleepy. <laughs> it's like I start wearing myself out. But yep, so I love y'all. Don't forget to go like, comment, and subscribe. And support your girl. Why? Because I'm going places. Catch me going up. All right, be blessed.